The Limestone County Sheriff's Office addressed the lawsuit against them, alleging sexual assault and discrimination. An investigator with the department says she was assaulted by her superior and then reprimanded by the sheriff. Renata DiGregorio joins us now with the details. Renata. Connor, the sheriff's office spokesman talked about this for about two minutes today, but wouldn't directly comment on any of the allegations nor take questions. He says the department is committed to equality. This 20 page complaint tells a different story. A veteran investigator with the Limestone County Sheriff's Office, Leslie Ramsey, alleges Chief Deputy Fred Sloss sexually assaulted her in his driveway in 2017. After that, she claims Sheriff Mike Blakely retaliated by threatening to fire her and by demoting her. Court documents say Sloss told Ramsey he'd promote her to captain if she went along with his assault. Then Sloss put her under increased scrutiny, including having her followed after the sheriff's rodeo that spring. That's when Blakely allegedly threatened to fire Ramsey and told her to see a psychiatrist. The lawsuit says Ramsey was demoted from investigator as her male counterparts were promoted to positions she was more qualified for. The suit also names multiple alleged instances in which male officers lost evidence, were arrested, or were supposedly intoxicated on duty and were not reprimanded. Everybody Public ready? Information Officer Stephen Young says the Sheriff's Office was legally advised to not address specifics. However, it's also important uh, that we reassure the people of Limestone County that just as the Limestone County Sheriff's Office is committed to serving them uh, with integrity and kindness, uh, we're also equally committed to providing the best workplace environment possible for all our employees. In the press possible. conference, Young calls Limestone County, Limestone a, County great a great place and says the it's department will continue their commitment to uh, equal treatment. Ramsey is demanding monetary compensation. Court documents also read she demands a trial by jury. Putting the Valley First, Renata DiGregorio, WZDX News.